think it's important to look at the whole sequence of an accident, why it happened, why any injuries might have occurred, and also look at the consequences of the injuries. Influencing the driver behavior is a key to the future safety systems and safety research. Where airbags or mechanical things are later on in the time sequence, we're moving today towards preventing accidents. SAFER is a, a competence center with 22 partners from vehicle and traffic safety. We uh, create a meeting place for the three big stakeholders, uh, the academy, the industry and the society. SAFER works within the, the middle ground between these three groups. The benefits of the joint project is that you, you get other partners joining up that you might not have thought of if you wouldn't have had the safer environment. The research areas is before the crash, during the crash and after the crash, what we call pre-crash, crash and post-crash. And then we also have another area, which is traffic safety analysis, where we get knowledge from the real traffic environment. In the pre-crash area, different uh, evaluation methods are very important. We are developing test methods of active safety system in proving grounds that you can uh, simulate typical accident situations in traffic in a repeatable way. So when you have this is as a tool for evaluation of various systems, you can uh, tune the uh, passive restraint systems for what is coming. You can know in advance what will be the severity of the accident, uh, which part of the car will be impacted, what is the uh, size of the object you are colliding with. And all this is also something we uh, have started to work with. And in crash, we deal with uh, protection of the occupants during a crash, uh, principles for protection and development of tools and methods. Uh, well, at the moment, we have uh, specific research in the area of child safety in the rear seat. Uh, we have also very intense research in the area of human modeling. Uh, we develop together human body models to uh, replicate the human in a crash. One of our areas of research is to understand how to make safe and green vehicles in the future. So you need to protect both the occupant and the batteries. And that puts extra challenge, especially if you're aiming for a less heavy vehicle. We will see many more fully electrically driven smaller vehicles. Powertrains of these vehicles will look completely different. Point of gravity of the vehicles will be placed differently. So uh, the vehicle dynamics will be different. Hopefully this opens up new possibilities for, for accident avoidance techniques. Within the post-crash area, it's a question of uh, reducing the injuries or the consequences of the injuries to the occupants in the crash. And right now we have an ongoing project uh, looking at sending live images from the accident scene to the alarm central. And other possible projects in the area could be to look at what type of information can be sent from the vehicle to the alarm central or also facilitating the rescue of the people from the vehicle. In addition to those three areas, we have the traffic safety analysis area. And that serves these, these different research areas with, with data and, and, and looks at the, the, the holistic pr perspective across these different uh, specific areas. What has recently happened is an exciting development in data collection technology. We're now able to collect from a large amount of vehicles over a long period of time data about the vehicle's behavior and the driver's behavior and the environment that's surrounding the, the vehicle. Modern vehicles have a data network on them that you're able to listen to. So you can listen to the data network and get a steering wheel a movement signal or the speed signal, brake information and button presses and all kinds of different things. But there's also 
the possibility to add sensors. So we're adding sensors, looking at eye movements and, and uh, radars or looking at the road. When you understand the normal driving, you also have a much better foundation for understanding what you shall do to try to prevent accident from happening. In introducing new systems, you want to be able to prove it, that, that these new systems are making an effect. So this is a way of testing or proving the impact and the effect of these systems at an earlier phase, whereas in the past you'd have to wait for the number of fatalities or, or accidents to, to be reduced in some way that we can prove that the system, the safety system, has an effect. And by proving a safety benefit earlier, you're able to see how it works and also understand how you can improve this system. Well, my area within SAFER is to provide the researchers with real-world accident data. So we normally have one to two accidents per day that we go out to. When we come to the accident scene, we start uh, talking to the rescue leader and uh, then we start measuring uh, tracks from the vehicles and we talk to the police and the rescue services to get an idea of what happened. And then when all the data is collected and we have performed interviews with the drivers and the other road users, we uh, do an analysis of the accident to try to figure out what happened and also if there were any injuries, we try to figure out why they were injured. I think SAFER is unique in the world uh, because although there are researchers all over that are really great. Would you find that SAFER are all those different type of researchers in one spot? Having an environment where you can voice your ideas about important topics there are to do research on, and then hearing somebody else say, yeah, that's, that's what we're, we're interested in too. There's a lot of strength to have each other because it makes the, the research stream uh, stronger. There are limited resources available in different uh, companies. So uh, if you can uh, join with other partners, you can share the costs and you can do more than you can do yourself. I think that SAFER as a meeting place is a very good base for this kind of cooperation and give possibilities within the area. The development of sensing systems is not the work of SAFER, that's more by different companies. We do not design cars together in, at SAFER, we develop the knowledge. It's based on, on, on trust and respect for each other and uh, the knowledge that you have high-level research in all these different organizations. And we work together in a, in a close-knit, collaborative way. Here we can meet people from the industry, from the authorities, from the academy, and we also get knowledge about the competencies available from different areas. They actually get to work together with these different partners, the partners that are actually have it within their power to make it make a change. In the 10 years time, I think we are very well known and have done some uh, important uh, contribution to the enhancement of safety in the world. My vision for SAFER is that cutting edge research is done and it's being implemented in such a way that eventually people will be able to move freely without the fear of being injured. The area of safety is, as I see it, one of the most exciting areas that you can deal with. Because it's actually about us humans. With the new systems that uh, are developed, I think a lot of lives can be saved. The knowledge we're seeking is a black box today. Why do accidents happen? And we would like to be able to open this box and see what's in it, what makes accidents happen, and, and, and what, how do they, what are the exact mechanics of all that. And up until now, we haven't been able to, we, we've been able to peek into the box, but we haven't been able to lay it out. <laughs>